Howdy folks and welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles. Who fancies some hot sweaty tank on tank action? Yeah, unfortunately there's going to be none of that today. Because today we're featuring a machine that I'm sure I must have featured at some point in the past but it was so long ago that I thought I'd forgotten about it. Sadly that is no longer the case. Years of therapy undone at a single stroke because today we are featuring quite possibly the worst machine in World of Tanks. The ARL V-39 French Tier 6 Tank Destroyer. The poor deluded fool playing this thing for us today is Toasty Turtle, who had a bit of a rude awakening when he, and I use this in the broadest possible sense of the word, upgraded to the ARL V-39. Looks like an absolute joke, but is actually a fairly mean tank destroyer at Tier 5, the Bathtub of Doom, the S-35. And the Tier 7 isn't exactly terrible either. The AMX-46 is bad. It's reasonably well armoured at the front. It has a good selection of guns. But it does share certain problems with the ARL V-39 down here at T6. But we'll get onto that in a moment. For now, what is good about the ARL V-39? Don't worry, this part will not take long. It has a huge selection of guns available. There are five different guns you can choose to fit to this thing. Unfortunately, while the 105mm gun that Toasty Turtle is using here is probably the best of the bunch, every one of them has drawbacks. This machine does have decent mobility. I, I, I am forced to give it at least that much. And the view range is pretty good as well. It also has a fairly good amount of health, but, well, that really just means you're even more of an XP and credit for the answer to the enemy team. And those are the good points. That's it. I told you it wouldn't take long. Now let's talk about the bad points. Strap yourselves in, because this could take a while. We talked about the huge selection of guns available on this thing, but the stock gun is a 1938 version of a 75mm gun, and it is comically bad. I mean, it's, it's seriously as if Wargaming had a bet as to just how bad a gun they could put on a machine before anybody noticed. And this thing won. It only has 68 millimeters of penetration. <laughs> With 110 average damage. And the accuracy is absolutely terrible. The other four guns are better, but that's only because the bar set by the stock gun was so ridiculously low. The accuracy on all of them ranges from bad to terrible, with the exception of the 90mm DCA-45, which does have good accuracy, but which is limited in other ways, like the shockingly bad gun traverse, which is a feature common to all of the guns on this machine. And unfortunately, if you're getting into the French tank destroyers, is a feature that's common to all of the French tank destroyers from this point on. You can see how Toasty Turtle is struggling to get the gun pointed at anything around the side of this piece of cover. Gun traverse on these things is so bad that if you manage to get a shot off at a moving target, regardless of how quick your rate of fire is, by the time you've reloaded the next shot, it'll be outside of your firing arc and you'll have to move the whole machine in order to reacquire the target. And this 105mm gun has the worst aiming time of the lot, 2.3 seconds. Not terrible, but definitely not good. This 105mm gun also has another drawback, which is kind of bizarre because it's not unusual for machines in the same nation to share weapons across the tech tree. And this 105mm gun on the ARL V39 is, to all intents and purposes, exactly the same 105mm gun that you get on the tier 6 and 7 French heavy tanks, the ARL 44 and the AMX 45. And yet, this same gun on the two heavy tanks gets 10mm better penetration than you get on the ARL V39, 175 versus the ARL's 165. Why? Don't know. Four minutes into this video and we still haven't finished talking about the bad things. We got the good things done in about 20 seconds, but don't worry, we're nearly there. So we've got a machine with a pretty bad selection of guns, horrible firing arcs. Oh, actually. Oh, here we go. <laughs> ARL versus ARL. It's like watching old people fuck. <laughs> Look at how bad the traverse speed is. It's shockingly bad. Absolutely terrible. 
And remember, this is on a machine. A tank destroyer that has the narrowest firing arc of any nation's tank destroyers in the game. And what are arguably the two best guns, the 90mm DCA-45 and this 105mm gun, also have the worst aiming times. <laughs> it's a perfect storm of terrible statistics combined to produce an even more terrible hole. Absurdly narrow firing arcs, long aiming times, and terrible hull traverse. What could possibly go wrong with that combination? It's amazing that Toasty Turtle is doing as well as he is. It's like they say, even a broken clock can tell the right time twice a day. He's going to get another arty kill here. Oh yeah, terrible gun depression as well, by the way. <laughs> as if everything else wasn't bad enough. It doesn't even have particularly good frontal armour. It's only 60 millimetres thick, although it is sloped back. Look at this horrible gun traverse. <laughs> and the 105mm gun, which Toasty Turtle is using, has 300 average damage, which means it's going to take two shots to kill this leopard. I don't know why the leopard didn't run. Then again, the writing's on the wall at this point. There's only three enemies left. There's only two enemies left. Oh, and then, of course, because I've just remembered another bad point about this machine, as if what we haven't covered already isn't bad enough, that useless ornament on top of the hull, which basically serves no purpose whatsoever except to ensure that it is impossible to go hull down in this tank destroyer. I mean, it's difficult to go hull down anyway, because the gun is mounted so low in the hull, but on those rare occasions when you do find a piece of cover that you can sit this machine behind and go hold down, well, you can't. <laughs> because of that useless ornament on top of the hull. And that is Toasty Turtle's sixth kill and his top gun in what, in my opinion at least, is easily, by far, without any shadow of a doubt, the single worst machine in the whole of World of Tanks. I mean, I was getting a fairly good vibe about the French tank destroyers when I got to tier 5 and encountered the joy that is the Bathtub of Doom, the S35CA, which once you get over just how absurdly stupid it looks, is actually a very, very good machine. And has excellent firing arcs, at least over one side of the tank. Well, I say tank, it's a tank destroyer. Uh, because of the way the gun is situated. And then I got to the ARL V39 and I thought to myself, oh, right. So that's what free experience is for. <laughs> this machine is terrible. I would rather play the M3 Lee. And you all know how much I hate the M3 Lee. But Wargaming has a long and proud tradition of doing this sort of thing. They do like to put some absolute turkeys in the various different tech trees in order to encourage you to skip past them with free XP. And the only thing you can really hope for is that the turkeys occur lower down the tech tree so it doesn't cost you as much free XP. I suppose that's one thing that we can say is actually quite good about the ARL V39. It is only tier 6. It doesn't require a huge amount of free XP to skip it. Then again, perhaps we really should be considering the silver lining here, because with so many people either giving up in disgust or just skipping through this thing with free XP when they arrive at it, that means there's not a lot of people playing the ARL V39. At least nobody who isn't a masochist like Toasty Turtle here which means that the competition for the coveted Ace Tanker badge isn't that tough. Not that I'm trying to take anything away from Toasty Turtle here, this was definitely the game of the century in a machine as bad as this, and he absolutely deserves to be commended for it. And I hope you all enjoyed watching Toasty Turtle attempting to fashion a silk purse out of the pig's ear that is the ARL V39 as much as I did, because that is it for today, and as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.